School senior pranks are the stuff of legend, sometimes funny, sometimes weird, and sometimes criminal. That was the case at El Dorado here in Albuquerque this week, and how the school solved the mystery of who done it will have students wondering who they can trust. News 13's Tina Jensen is live at the Heights, or Northeast Heights School with that story. Tina? Dick, staff showed up here Monday morning to find door after door impossible to open. It didn't take them long to figure out who did it. Two masked seniors caught on camera putting Gorilla Glue in all the locks at El Dorado High School. Mostly we found it kind of stupid that they would do that because I guess it wasn't their intention, but it kind of mess everything up. After APS maintenance crews quickly MacGyvered the doors open Monday morning, the principal made an announcement on the PA system. Anyone with info on the suspects could collect a $200 reward. He says within 15 minutes, he found out the names of the two seniors who then confessed. I believe that the students did not realize the extent of the damage that they caused. I think they believed it to be funny. Schools deal with senior pranks every year. Earlier this year, Rio Rancho High School seniors took the license plates off cars in the lot. And Volcano Vista High School seniors put tires on a flagpole last year. Well done, senior pranksters. The craziness of the whole prank, the senior prank, is just a kind of like annual thing that we all look forward to. But students usually end up paying for it, including the two seniors on El Dorado. By gluing all of the doors shut, the two students did about $6,000 worth of damage. But it will cost those two seniors a lot more than that. They could face felony charges for the vandalism and could have to pay for the repairs. And they won't be walking across the stage at graduation. The commencement ceremony is a privilege and not a right. And that commencement ceremony uh, they're removed from. The principal says he warned the senior class before spring break. Anyone caught doing a prank won't be walking in graduation. He says those two students who glued the doors were there to hear that message. Back to you. Okay, Tina, while student handbooks for some schools specifically do warn kids about pulling senior pranks, we found something odd on Highland High School's website. A list of some of the school's more memorable senior pranks, including moving the principal's car onto the steps of the gym and get this, super gluing the school's locks.